Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I do my rapid logging in OneNote. Now, I myself am an avid OneNote fan, and I use OneNote to keep just about everything in my life organized and moving ahead. I'm a YouTube creator, blogger at OneNoteWorthyLife.com, and I host the OneNote Bullet Journal Facebook group. So let's talk about what is rapid logging. Well, rapid logging comes from the original bullet journal system, and for more information on that, uh, you can go to bulletjournal.com. Now, in my own words, I would describe rapid logging as the process of making quick, short notes of things that happen, incoming data, or any thoughts or ideas you have throughout your day. I really like the idea of rapid logging because it's a simple way to create a record of your day as well as record new ideas, tasks, and pieces of information. Once I record something into my rapid log, I can stop thinking about it and stop trying to remember it. I know it's safely stored and waiting for me to act or decide on it. Cultivating the practice of rapid logging has allowed me to keep my head clear and stay focused on a task at hand even when stray thoughts enter my mind. Now, in the bullet journal system, each bullet or short note is given a signifier when it's recorded. The short note is identified as a note by using a dash, an event by using a circle, or a task by using a dot. You can also add a star if something is particularly important. Now, I've recorded a few videos that replicate this system in OneNote, um, and I use uh, the keyboard to create those signifiers, because in OneNote you always have access to a keyboard, but you may not have access to a stylus-enabled device. Um, so I've changed the way I do things, though, and it's working really well, so I wanted to share it with you. Now, before I show you what I've switched to, I want to show you what wasn't working. Well, um, rapid logging should be easy and fast. If it's not, most of us are going to fall away from the habit. I got hung up on the signifiers. I couldn't decide on the spot what something was. The whole point of rapid logging is that it's rapid. So instead of making a quick note, I would spend time researching and trying to think and figure out what kind of note it was. For example, I might see a recipe that looks interesting. Um, in that moment, I don't know if I want to make it, store it in a recipe archive, or simply make a note of it in case I want it sometime in the future. Now, one of the best things about rapid logging is that I can quickly make a note of something and get back to what I'm doing with minimal interruption. If the making of the entry is too effortful, then it becomes an interruption in and of itself. Now, in the Getting Things Done or GTD system, having to pick a signifier when you record the note is the equivalent of collecting and processing in one step. If you aren't familiar with Getting Things Done or GTD, I'll talk about that a little more uh, later in this video. Uh, and I will show you how I do my rapid log now, and then I'll put a link to the book and system in the description of this video. So now I'm going to show you what I do now. I have a section on my daily page for a bulleted list of truly quick notes. I use the bullet, note, bullet list feature in OneNote, and I don't add any signifiers when I note something. So let me show you a sample of my daily page. So, um, my today's notes section is up here in the upper right corner, and you can see it's just a short bulleted list. Um, and it contains things like random notes, incoming items, observations, etc. What I like about this is that it works really well. It gets stuff out of my head right away, and then I process or make a decision on things um, the next day in time dedicated for that process. So uh, the types of things I might add would might be goals for the day, um, any big agenda or schedule, schedule items for the day, events that I hear about. Um, and the nice thing about just writing them down in this quick format is that I don't have to decide if I'm going to attend or anything I might need to buy or prepare before the event. It's just in there ready for me to process the next day. I might make a note of a conversation I have if I talk to a medical person or a home repair person or, you know, someone in an administrative position like at the bank or something, I might make note of that conversation. I also like to write down accomplishments and good things that happened. I write down new to-do items, like if I notice I'm running out of something or that something is broken and needs to be replaced. I write that down. Things that I notice, just simple things like maybe the dogs did something funny or things like that. Um, 
I write down things I may want to do or also any interesting links I find. And finally, like any just random thing that I want to make a note of that I don't have another default place to put. So now I want to show you some examples of things I've actually captured. So these are actually examples of things that have been in my rapid log recently. So, um, for example, one day I wrote a note to myself that I have to prep for tomorrow because I have to leave early. So I wanted to make sure I was all ready. Another day I wrote down that my agenda included an 1120 meeting and, um, that I had an, um, an in internet installer coming. Uh, a new to-do item was to test Skype AV settings before uh, an upcoming meeting. I wanted to confirm a phone call via text. Uh, I wanted to check my Amazon subscription before the last day to change. If you don't know what that is, it's you can set up regular recurring deliveries of items you use a lot. Uh, let's see. So I wanted to clear out a folder on my personal Michelle folder on my computer. Another day I was going out, and uh, I like to have just a list of all the errands I'm going to do while I'm out. Um, I had an unrecognized credit card charge I wanted to address. And uh, this was a funny thing. I actually um, had a bee comb fall on my front lawn. I never saw that before, didn't know what to do. So it was just sort of an interesting, strange thing that happened to me. Um, so these are the kinds of things that just kind of random things that come at me throughout the day. Now, uh, in the Getting Things Done system, we have uh, two distinct steps here. The first would be collection, and this would be putting incoming things in a secure place to await action. So um, an example of this could be your email inbox. Your inbox collects your incoming mail, and under Getting Things Done or GTD, you would have to move those emails out of your inbox once you've processed them. Now, that doesn't mean you actually need to do the action required by the email. It just need, means that you get it out of the inbox. A real-life example of collection might be um, collecting your postal mail in a drawer or bin and then processing it once a week or so until the drawer is empty. And I, this is something I actually um, do in real life. I actually collect my postal mail and kind of process it all at once. Um, so collection is putting things in a secure place, which is a temporary holding place, while you are um, preparing to make a decision or process the item, or to do the item if it's a short, quick thing. Processing is making a decision about what to do with that thing and putting the thing in its proper place. And this applies to both the physical and the virtual world. So my today's notes section on my daily page are a form of inbox, where I collect new and incoming things. So... Um, Getting back to the subject of this video, I'm going to show you how um, I process the random notes that I collect throughout the day. So this is the same list I showed you earlier of things that I have collected, actual things that were in my random notes for the day, and I've put them in a table to show you uh, what I did with them. Um, so this first line here, where I must prep for tomorrow because I have to leave early, it was a to-do item for today, and I put it on today's to-do list and marked it critical. The second item, which was uh, just I wanted a note of my agenda for the day, uh, I didn't really need to take any actions. It was just kind of a reminder and like a big picture for my day, so I didn't copy or place it anywhere. I just left it there. I wanted to test the Skype AV settings before my meeting on Tuesday. So this was a priority to-do item, but it was not um, necessarily for today. Um, I like to work with a to-do list just for today, every day. So I did put it on my sort of longer-term to-do list and marked it as important. I wanted to confirm a call time via text, so that's a to-do item. And I put it on my to-do list, and I don't recall if that was a today item or a um, you know longer-term item. Um, then I wanted to check my Amazon subscriptions. Again, that's a to-do item. Uh, didn't need to be done today, so I put it on my list. But I did mark it as important because typically... Um, there's a hard deadline for that, and usually um, when I do this, I usually only have a few days to get it done. So uh, I wanted to clear out this folder on my hard drive, um, and this is, a, I decided, was a two-minute item. And in the Getting Things Done system, as you're processing your inbox, if something will take you less than two minutes to do, you just do it on the spot rather than put it someplace else to be done later. 
So I just did that real quick while I was processing. This next item where I was talking about going out and doing those errands, well, it was already scheduled into my day, um, so I didn't have to do anything with it. It was just kind of a note to keep me on track for my day, so I didn't do anything with that. Uh, the next thing was I had to check an unrecognized credit card charge, and um, that was a to-do item. So I put it on my to-do list, marked it as important. Um, didn't need to be done that day, but they do have a deadline on them, so I um, didn't want that to sit too long. So this last one where I found a bee comb on the front lawn, um, it didn't require any action. Um, I had already taken care of it. Um, by the time I processed this note. So um, it was just kind of an interesting diary type entry for the day of something that happened. Um, so that is it. We have now talked about uh, my process for rapid logging. It's a new process that's working really well for me and I hope you can use it too. And it's actually uh, changed not only the way I work when I'm at my desk, but kind of the way I think about new items coming into my life. Like I try and really, you know, collect them, process them, and move them on their way. Um, I hope you can use this. I hope this is useful to you, and maybe it'll help change the way you think about new items. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments of this video, and I'll do my best to help you out. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the thumbs up button so I know you like this. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.